Welcome back to Half-Life for the PlayStation 2. Alright my friends, so we're going to hit this here button, and then we're going to go ahead and get on this platform. And this is going to take us down there. That is a long way down, so don't be tempted to jump because you will die. But, we are in pursuit of the Lambda Core. Uh, we're very, very close actually to the, uh, the main event, shall we say. Um... Really close to the end of this playthrough now. Uh, whoa, geez, stop! Damn it! Platform is glitching out on us there. Get underneath the uh, the lorry here. <laughs> Come on. Taking advantage of the uh, locking on system as always. So so handy. There we go. Look how easy that was. Can't believe I've made it this far without doing that. Saves me a ton of health and ammunition. Alright, so... We're going to go up this ladder here, and we're going to regenerate our health. We're going to get back to 100, hopefully. There we go. Now if we come on to this door over here, rather than going through those double doors down there, because you can't get through them, um, we have to go this way. And this way is a bit more challenging and adventurous, uh, as you can see by the dead scientist. Splat, there we go. Now, prepare yourself for this. Um, we're in for a treat. A little nostalgic treat, actually, because we have faced these guys before. They're the uh, the ninjas. And they are around here somewhere. So just be extremely cautious. There's one over there, I see him. Right. Come on. Damn it, did I only have one of those bombs? Are you serious? Damn it, quick. Nah! Damn you. F you right in your ear. Oh boy, I'm sure there's more than one of those guys in here and I have nine health. I am not going to do it this time, am I? Not unless every single ninja went to the same spot. That would be the most incredibly lucky thing that's ever happened in this game, or in the history of Half-Life. That'd be pretty special. There's a lot of body parts on the floor. I might actually be okay. Ah, damn it! That was too freaking close for comfort. Somebody give me some health. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Ah! You just love getting me down to the freaking single digits, don't you? Oh, <laughs> there's still one left. Damn, what kind of weapon are they using? I have to invest in one of those. I don't quite have one. Right, come on. We'll stick to the uh, the back alleys here. Try and get around if possible. I see you. Come back. Good thing with the locking on system, by the way, guys, is it kind of uh, tracks your enemy. So as soon as you lock on, uh, you're going to be chasing them, even knowing you can't see them. So, like that, but he went right. Oh, you son of a bitch! Are you serious? Oh, dude, would you get lost already? Wow, wow. Okay, this is going to be rather challenging. Okay. All right, I'm busting out the Hornet gun, the alien arm. Come here. Son of a bitch, come here. Oh, what is going on? Seriously, what is going on now? Would you go away? Come here. That's it, die midair. Much more justified. Oh, dude, you freaking bitch mitten. Go away. Hang on a second, I'm coming up there. I've had enough of this. What the hell? Their weapons are too overpowered. They're overkilling weapons. Oh, that's ridiculous. There's somebody still over there as well. Oh, this is mental. This is absolutely mental. Oh, what? This, there's another one down there as well. How many of those things are out there? Getting my ass handed to me. Right, I definitely killed two just then. 
Right, tell you what I'm going to do. Much better place to be right now, isn't it? Right, you can die. That's three. How many more of you guys want a piece? Of the Freeman, huh? Is that it? Are we good? Alright, it's pretty quiet at the moment. That's probably a good thing. Ah, oh, you, you had to be one of you left, didn't there? It just had to be one of you left. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're actually good. And therefore, I'm going to continue on and try and get the hell out of this place now. Where does this go? Ah, yes. HAV machine. Great. Kind of need that now, don't I? Never knew there was one of these machines here. There's a first aid machine there as well. It's a very good place to be right now in terms of health. Alright. So I'm guessing we have to go this way. Yes. Okay. Screw those guys. It's bad enough we've got to deal with the military. We've got to deal with freaking ninjas as well. That ain't cool. That is not cool. Alright. Let's deal with the loading screen. Not nearly as bothersome as the ninjas, but still kind of bothersome. Oh boy, okay. Right, just in case shit hits the fan, because I'm pretty sure it's going to, uh, let's go ahead and quick save. Pretty sure something is going to happen. Hello, there you are. Spoke too soon, didn't I? Die. There we go. Oh, there's another dude over there as well. Alright, three of the tyrant looking aliens. Okay, great. Not bad. We've still got 100 health. Still looking good. If there's anybody in there, you better stop clowning around because this is kind of serious. Is there anybody actually in there? Okay, looks like I'm going this way then, doesn't it? Which way am I going? Whoa, 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 okay, right, that, that explains a lot, actually. I was pretty sure we were supposed to go that way, but there's clearly a scientist in there who's scared for his life. There we go. I apologize, Mr. Freeman, but I couldn't risk opening that door until I was sure you had scoured the area. This is the last entrance to the Lambda Complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. When we realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who should stay behind and let you through. Obviously, I drew the short one. My colleagues are waiting at the tip of the Lambda Reactor. Waiting for you, I mean. The reactor is shut down right now, but you can activate it on your way up. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation labs. You're not authorized to know about those. But I can see you already know a great deal more than any one man is supposed to. Okay, well thanks Morgan Freeman. Um, let's go, come on. What are we doing here? Can you unlock this door for me via your eyes? Kind of have a planet to save? You're gonna narrate me, Morgan. You're gonna narrate the story of Gordon Freeman, Mr. Morgan Freeman. Thank you. We're gonna make history. The Freemans. Sponsored by Volve. <laughs> Alright, take the, uh, the elevator because I'm lazy and don't want to go on top of these explosive crates. Now then, I am looking forward to getting something pretty darn cool. Uh, whereabouts is it actually? It's in here. Oh yes. I built the gluon gun, but I just can't bring myself to use it on a living creature. You don't look as if you have any trouble killing things. Now this is basically, in my opinion, the Ghostbusters weapon, and it is so, so, so super effective. Let me show you. See what I mean? Look how justified that was. It feels so good to be able to do that. It just kills them instantly. It doesn't even matter what size most of the time, it just kills them. Unless we're facing off against a uh, boss alien, you can pretty much kill them instantly. And by the way, yes, you do have to share this between the uh, plasma gun as well. So the ammunition is combined. 
But I'm going to be taking serious advantage of that weapon throughout this entire episode and for the rest of this game, actually. Who are you going to call? Morgan Freeman! Who are you going to call? Gordon Freeman! Come on. Oh boy, okay, right. There's Oban. There we go. Now then, right, let's start off by taking you out. Oh, okay, I could have walked into that. That could have been bad, couldn't it? Ah, uh, let's see. Ox tank and maintenance station. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, where did you even come from? See how good this weapon is? It's incredible. Right, um, let's see. Yeah, we're going to start off by going to the coolant system. I don't think it really matters which order you do this in, um, but looks like we're going this way first. Somebody's still after me. Jeez Louise. How many of you guys are in here? Too many of these mofos lurking about. But you'll notice that towards the end of this game, they really do crank up the difficulty level. Not by a great deal, but by enough. Ah, right. Ugh. Sit down. And stay down. See, they don't even have a chance to get you. That's what I mean. This gun is so much more effective than their uh, zappiness. There we go. So that's one switch. We still have one more switch to do. I right, just took some damage. Go away. We're going this way. We're going this way now. Okay. Great. So this kind of reminds me of the time we went up against that Hydra alien. Uh, we had a series of buttons to press. Kind of the same thing, actually. We kind of have to uh, locate several different buttons, and we have to press them because we are a button-pressing addict, and uh, I have to say, it does feel good to press buttons. So this is uh, another coolant system. Okay, we're still going this way though. Don't let that put you off, guys. Uh, we are still going this way. Because normally, when something explodes like that, you kind of think, uh, oh, door, please be on my side. Come on. Yeah, you kind of assume that you can't go that way because they, uh, you know, the game is scripted to allow an explosion to happen there and it. Whoa! Hello. It kind of uh, makes you think that you can't go that way, because normally when an explosion happens, you, you can't go that way. Alright, let's start by turning this valve here. No, not the company. This. That allows us to go through there without taking any more damage. I have uh, some ammunition left on this thing. In fact, I'm going to take advantage of the pistol, seeing as it's only two shots for the head crabs. It's only four for the uh, the ceiling aliens as well. And I haven't been using this handgun. I've pretty much only been using the machine gun. Um, and other than that, the boss killing weapons, these two here. Uh, the rocket launcher, I still got plenty of rockets in because I uh, didn't destroy the tank. I have 55 darts. Ouch, my, my eyeballs. Ow. There we go. Mid air kill. Alright, so now then, it's showtime. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of here now. As you can see, uh, all power has been restored to the Lambda Main Reactor Coolant System. And uh, that's where we're going next, I believe. I went the long way around there, didn't I? Damn it. This place isn't even that long. I don't need a maze. I might start bossing out the... Uh, yeah. The um, crossbow. Why the hell not? I haven't been using it. I've got plenty of ammunition. I feel like using it for the sake of it. Ouch. Just busted my kneecaps, but I'm okay. I have the hazard suit to protect me, and to protect my kneecaps, and to protect my narrator, Morgan Freeman. So, now we're going to go this way, because this is the way we have to go next. So that's why I'm going this way. I don't think it matters which way you go, but I'm going to go this way. 
How's it going? You can come with me if you want, but don't worry, I can do it. I can do it by myself. Hey, how's it going? Ah, look at this! I don't like being told what to do. I haven't been told what to do up until this point, really. Well, actually, I have. I've been taking too many orders from you guys. In fact, when I took the uh, first order from you guys, this all happened. Okay? This all happened because of you scientists wanting to just change things. You wanted to do things all the time, and I don't like that. Okay. I was quite happy working in the... Uh, you know, in the cafe before working here. I was quite happy with it, wasn't I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be sure to pick up my pension at the end of this. Right, it's not that way then, okay? Guys, I was wrong. <laughs> We're going this way, apparently. Alright. Oh, seriously, Dor, whose side are you on? Oh, okay, he's dead. Alright, that's good. That's something. Now then, um, oh, there's another one there? What are they doing? Whoa, what, what the hell? Ah, no! Dude, go, damn it. Freaking taking two darts to kill you guys, seriously? I only had one to begin with that to reload my gun, are you guys serious? Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go down this ladder because we haven't been down enough apparently. And just go ahead and take this uh, this little underwater tunnel here, prontissimo, because uh, we don't want to drown. Go straight up, up the other ladder, and of course we're here, surrounded by more ceiling aliens. And we have seen so many of these throughout the entire playthrough. We've seen people get killed by them as well. It's always funny for some reason, I don't know why, is that sick? They're just hanging up there like a lamp, like a ceiling lamp. Alright, now then, uh, we have to raise the water levels here. There's two to do. And you might want to go ahead and save your game, because as soon as you get up there, you're going to notice uh, an incredible amount of power. A lot of power surge is going on. I see you there. Where are you going? Oh, okay, right, that's what I was talking about. This, uh, <laughs> this is actually quite beneficial in terms of killing aliens for us, but it can also kill us as well. So we have to be careful. Right, so apparently because I'm a monkey, I can hang on very, very well to these bars. We're just going to go ahead and try and avoid the electric. There we go. And sometimes what I do is I save after I get up every ladder because, uh, it saves you a little bit of time. Ah, no, 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 no. Get up the ladder. Again. Third and final quick save, just for good measure. There it is. There's that one. Jump and follow the laser if you can, because it'll be quite easy for your health. Try and get this door open, wait for it to stop, and then, of course, just go through and you're home free. And that can kill you very easily, by the way. I kind of made it look a little bit easier than it actually was. Uh, right, uh, elevator, and there's a supply door here. Alright, not a supply door, sorry, a supply room. The door says supply. Misleading door. You're not a supply door. I have no use for you at the moment. I have use for the room that you're hiding. Another quick save, because if you don't jump this properly, you'll fall down and you'll die. And you know what happens when you die? You go back to the last quick save, don't you? So. If you played half an hour of this game, F your life. Another supply room. Not a great deal, but some health. I shall take it gladly, and uh, we'll mosey on through life. What's down here? Nothing. Some ammunition. Uh, great. Hey, did you see that? Somebody went through that portal. Huh. Maybe this is going to be a little bit of a crossover series. Maybe I'm going to start playing Portal next. Hmm. Damn it, I didn't want to lock on. Oh boy, okay. Stop, stop already. Just trying to live my life here. I'm sure you can respect that. 
What is going on? Who is getting shot at? Oh, you're trying to shoot him through the bulletproof window? You must be out of your mind. Is it bulletproof? Wait. There is no window. You've actually got a terrible aim. <laughs> Come with me. You don't have to bring him with you, but like I previously said, he does come in handy in terms of being able to kill enemies for you. Like right now, actually, I think two more are about to spawn. Yep, there we go. You're a little bit too late. I think he's dead now. Oh, okay, there's another two. Right, well spotted. So, you know, that guy was about to charge up a second shot and attack me, but you were here to save the day, so well done. I'm going to give you a shiny. Uh, let's see, what is this way? I don't think this actually leads to anywhere. I think we have to stick to the main route. These two doors here are just to demonstrate the uh, the use of the portals. You go through one and then boom, we're here into the other room. You see that? Security guard is rather impressed. Um, but we are going to go down this route. You don't have to go in any of these lab doors. In fact, I think you can't. We have to go over to level B, and that takes us here, guys. Now, I'm going to quick save, because you can die here very easily as well. Hooray for quick saves. Uh, we're going to go through this portal. And um, I can't remember the number sequence for this, but I am going to go ahead and take a random ass guess. I'm going to go through port 3. No, that takes us to a supply unit. I will gladly take that, actually. That's pretty darn handy. That's not what I wanted. We're back here again. You can stay. We're going to try this again. Yeah, some of these doors don't take you to the right place. It's the same portal, as you can see, but for some reason, if you go through port 2, for example... What happened there, man? Seriously? Oh, jeez. What about port 1? Where the heck are we now? Ah, oh, damn it. I really should make a... Oh, no. No, damn you. Freaking damn you, man. Ah, oh, come on. No, oh, dude, get off of me. Alright, the hell to that. I'm rather tempted to quick load my game now. Uh, oh, jeez. What is that up there? I can't remember which door leads to what. Ugh. I'm sure it's number two, isn't it? Isn't it number two? Yeah, it's number two. What the hell? Alright, go, go under this one. Um, oh, damn it. Is it this one or not? Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, right. Well, it did take us back to this, so I'm guessing that probably was an accurate decision to make. So let's go ahead and jump into two. What is going on? Why are you doing that? Am I going into it too early, or is the timing on this just very obscure and I don't realize it? What is actually happening? I've died like two times here already. There we go, that was even, that was okay, wasn't it? Alright. Straight into port four. Great, okay. That is good. Lucky number seven? I think that might have been good, I think that might have been what we needed. Yes it was, we are actually here, finally. Jeez Louise, I ain't doing that again. You can make your life a lot easier if you just remembered the, uh, the numbers. Okay, great, dead again. <laughs> wow, the deaths are happening all round, aren't they? Okay, jump is what I wanted to do. You have to follow this around, and there's two buttons in here we have to press. Again with the button pressing, I know. Um, jump there, there we go. And you see it's opening up one of two hatches there. I'm going to quickly save again, um, because I don't want to just have to keep on doing this. Alright, there's button number two, and if the timing is good on this, we should hopefully be able to just jump on here, jump on there, and jump over to hatch two, and there we go. Again, one more quick save. I do apologise for the quick saves, but I like to be safe. There we go. And that is all she wrote. If she writes anything. Here we are. Now, one very important thing to uh, make note of here is don't go through that portal because it'll take you right to the very beginning. I don't know why the hell that portal is there, but it just is. Maybe it's one of Volve's little jokes, I don't know, but don't do it. I'm just giving you a heads up on that one. Just carry on with the mission. 
And what you'll find is we're about to go somewhere rather interesting, actually, as per usual. Um, let's see. Um, yep, I'll grab that. Nice little carton of milk there. Good for the muscles. Or bones, rather. Whatever. You can tell I didn't do very good at science, can't you? And I'm a scientist, basically, aren't I? The scientists are relying on me. I don't know how good that is. This is where we need to be. I do get some uh, nostalgic feels when I come to this place as well, and you'll see why in a second. Hello! Raymond, you finally found us. So this is the guy. We thought you'd never make it. This is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border were always brought back this way. Um, before the survey members started being collected themselves. We suspect there is an immense portal over there. Created by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. You will know it when you see it. I hate to say this, Gordon, but you must kill it. Yeah. Okay, so I really like this place. Look, there are tons and tons of things that we can grab here. Um, it's always good to go in here and just stock up and take as much as you physically can. We're taking Link's approach here. We are carrying a ton of items. So there we go. Right now, he's going to open up this uh, this little door here for us, and we're about to get something pretty pretty cool, actually. Something that I wish we had right at the start of this game, but we have 10 grenades for our machine gun, as you can see, and we uh, will be making very good use of those. Alright. Very, very handy to have that. Gonna go into this next uh, stage with a uh, hundred and a hundred, hopefully. There we go, we're fully equipped for this now. Look how far we can jump. Hello, Freeman. I'm up here. Practice your long jump if you must, but hurry up. Alright, so a big battle is about to uh, sort of kick off here. So that might be a good idea to quick save. Right, so that scientist over there is going to press a button. This actually uh, kind of takes us back to the first ever episode of this playthrough. Right at the start of this game, there's some sort of experimental room just like this, and uh, some wacky experiment happens, and of course it all goes wrong. Uh, that's pretty much the reason why we're here. We have to go to um, the alien realm to defeat the uh, the boss alien. The reason why all this is happening, so that we can restore peace on this earth. Once it's begun, I must not be interrupted, or I will have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Understood? I will begin. You don't want to be distracted? I was kind of uh, going to get Morgan Freeman to do some narrative here. Oh dear. Again? Are you serious? Ow, what the hell? So this is a new kind of alien that we haven't faced yet. We have to keep the scientist alive. Although I don't think they uh, focus on him, but you know, either way, just try and kill all of these things. There we go. It's a good reason to have the locking on in mind. Because trying to focus on these things without the locking on is incredibly difficult. Would you hurry up with the freaking portal, man? I want to go through it already. Taking a lot of damage here. It's ready. You must go now. All right, in case I miss and kill myself, <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. Now, when I played the Black Mesa um, PC version, uh, the one that people made, it stopped here. We never got to see Xen. Um, so this is what I was really looking forward to seeing. Uh, but here we are. This is basically um, the Alien Realm. And uh, this is where the next episode is going to be uh, starting off from, basically. We're going to be exploring this place. And, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of things to do here in order to complete this game. But... 
I think the next episode, guys, will be the last. I think it will be the finale to this playthrough, so I really do hope that you're enjoying the playthrough, and I hope to see you in the finale, guys, alright? So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.